The Weekly starts now. Hi, and welcome to The Weekly. This is your source for trends and innovations we're seeing in the marketplace. Our sponsor today is LP Structural Solutions. They have a full line of products that stop moisture, heat, and fire from your homes, both new construction and remodeling. And they touch all parts of the house, the roof, the wall, and the flooring. So check them out. There's been so much conversation around clean, healthy homes. It's really taken on a life of its own since COVID. But the clean, healthy home and air filtration and energy efficiency also takes you on the road to being LEED certified. How does it work? Kevin Kittleson, a custom builder out of Naperville, Illinois, walks us through one of his LEED certified homes and how he does it, the materials he uses, and all the good information you need. Every home we build, we always do rigid foam insulation on the exterior. Um, we did a two by four wall system in the home. Uh, I should say a blend of two by four and two by six. So we have an R5 insulation on the exterior. And then we did a flash foam with closed cell foam um, on the whole home before we then insulate it with uh, blown in cellulose. And then obviously the drywall. And then we use uh, a product by Knopf that's called Eco Seal throughout the home as well at the bottom plate to floor double top plate um, where there's gaps in the in the sheeting on the exterior of the home this home in particular with the solar array on the home got a her score of five this is what we like to refer to as our wine down room uh, you'll see we have the decor wine taps and wine refrigerators right there this is you know different from your typical you know, dining room and study that you might find in an older home. And we've really used this space to you know, create a home that, or create an area within the home that not many homes have. That's kind of a, a wow factor when people walk in. Kevin outlines all the things that consumers are looking for today in their homes. If you wanna check out the full interview and get all the information, head over to Horizon TV and you can see it there. Talk about clean, clean, healthy homes is one thing. Ikea, they built a whole brand on clean. Their cabinets, I think it's the first word that people think about. But what are the positive and negatives of Ikea cabinets? We have two designers that weigh in on this. And you know what's amazing? Ikea cabinets, they're not just for college students and renters, believe it or not. Well, first of all, I love Ikea cabinets. So I've put them in three homes of my own now. And I, um, and the first one was in 2006. Um, so two full remodels. And then our last house, we built a custom island out of Ikea cabinets. And in our current home, um, we need a kitchen remodel and I am torn right now, but I am leaning heavily towards doing Ikea cabinets. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons um, that I'll recommend the Ikea cabinets is if somebody is on a tight budget, but also if they have a tight space and we really need to get the most out of every square inch. So if we're on a tight budget and we have a tight space, you know, I really love the frameless construction of the, the Ikea cabinets. And I feel like bang for your buck with the organizational features that they offer, you just can't get that, um, that frameless European style cabinetry with those, your, those organizational features at anything approaching a budget um, conscious price point in any other line. Who knew? Pros are embracing IKEA cabinets. It was a surprise. So if you want to check out that full interview or any of the ones that we've done on the show, please go out to Horizon TV or on YouTube. All the full segments are there for you. Big shout out to our sponsor, LP Structural Solutions. They protect your home against moisture, heat and fire, 
and they have a great line of products just for you. And for me, I got this broken right wing. I've been trying to do using my left hand more and more. Here it is on national TV. So thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next Thursday. And please have a safe week. See ya.